this Swift UI tutorial, we will create a detailed view for the notes. But before we start coding, let's see how it looks like watching a short demo about it. Let's create a new application with Swift UI framework for Apple Watch. After creating a new note and saving it on the local storage, we can see a note in the list on the home page. Now, if we tap on this note, then a new detail view will show up. Here we can read the whole note no matter how long it is. Moreover, there are some additional features in the footer section. All right. Without further ado, let's launch Xcode and start coding. First of all, we need to create a file for the detailed view, so let's do it right now. Select the view group from the Project Navigator pane and then create a new SwiftUI file. Give it the name Detail View and save it. After that, we will create three new properties. Enter the following code. Let. Note. Note. Let. Count. Int. Let. Index. Int. The note property is self-explanatory, in my opinion. The count will hold the total number of notes in the array. And finally, the index property will tell us the place of the actual note in this array. It's as simple as that. Since we haven't initialized these properties with any value, therefore we need to fix the preview error. I'm pretty sure that you know that we always need to provide some data for the preview, so it doesn't get confused about what to display on the canvas. That's being said, click on the Fix button, and Xcode will tell us what information we need to provide. To do that, we will create a new property with some sample data in the preview. Enter this code. Static. Var. Sample data. Note. Equals. Note. ID. UUID. Text. Hello, world. After creating this sample note property, we can finally add this to the detail view in the preview. The note will be the sample data. The count will be 5. And last but not least, the index will be 1. With this provided sample data, the preview is satisfied so that we can continue our work. We will start replacing the welcome message with a new vStack. Please enter the following code as I do. vStack. Alignment. Center. Spacing. 3. Then add these comments for all sections in this container. New comment. Header. New comment. Content. New comment. Footer. New comment. End of the vStack. And finally. Padding. 3. Great job. Now let's follow through these sections and create its content for each one of them, shall we? We start with the header section at the top. Enter. HStack. Capsule. Frame. Height. 1. Image. System name. Note. Dot. Text. Capsule. Frame. Height. 1. New comment. The end of the HStack. Foreground color. Accent color. With this code, our new header is done. How cool is that? Of course, we won't stop here. Let's develop the layout for the content section. Enter the following code. Spacer. Scroll view. Vertical. Text. Note. Dot text. Now let's add some modifiers to it. Font. Title, 3. Font weight. Semibold. Multiline text alignment. Center. 
spacer. The content section is also done. As you can notice, we wrapped it into a vertical scroll view so that we can read the note no matter how long it is. The final part that we need to develop is the footer. Please navigate to the footer, and let's start typing this code. hstack Alignment Center New comment The end of the hstack Foreground color Secondary there is nothing visible in the footer so far. Of course, this is only an outer wrapper. Now, let's add some UI elements to it, shall we? We start with the settings button. Enter this code. Image. System name. Gear. Image scale. Large. Spacer. Then we will add a new text to the footer. Enter. Text. Backslash. Open parenthesis. Count. Closed parenthesis. Forward slash. Backslash. Open parenthesis. Index. Plus. One. Closed parenthesis. Spacer. After the number, we will add another button. This time it will open a new sheet for the credits. Enter. Image. System name. Info. Dot. Circle. Image scale. Large. And. Guess what? We have just finished developing the layout for the detailed view. As you can see in the preview, nothing fancy is there. Yet, our design looks lightweight and professional. Please keep in mind that there is no room for any clutter when we design something for Apple Watches. Of course, so far, we have just created the layout and the design for this detailed view. Now it's time to tie it together to the home page. Navigation link. To do that, first, open the content view file as I do. After that, Navigate to the hstack container in the for each loop inside the list. Here, we need to embed this hstack into a new navigation link. Command plus click on the hstack and choose the embed option from the contextual menu as I show you. Now we need to replace the placeholder container with a navigation link. Enter the following code Navigation link Destination Detail view. Note. Notes. Open square bracket. I. Closed square bracket. Count. Notes. Dot. Count. Index. I. With this code, users can navigate from the list to the notes detail view. To see it in action, we need to test the watch app either in the Xcode simulator or on a real Apple Watch. Please. Build and run the notes project. Testing. First, we need to create and add a new note to the list, so let's do it right now. Let's create a new application with Swift UI framework for Apple Watch. Super. Now let's tap on this note and check out the recently created detailed view, shall we? There it goes. Our Notes app got another important feature. In this tutorial, we practiced how to navigate from one page to another with the use of the SwiftUI's navigation link. We will continue the app development in the following lessons by creating the credits and the settings pages for this Apple Watch application. Until then, happy coding!